Hello there! You are welcome to Ola Books TV. April is the month of the young children and it is pertinent that we celebrate this month with you and your family. Month of the Young Child focuses public attention on the needs of young children and their families and recognizes the early childhood programs and services that meet those needs. Today, I will be referring to young children within the age range of infancy to eight years. I will be showing you a few books you may share with your classroom if you are an early childhood educator or a parent of a young child. Why are these books good for young children? And why they could possibly learn from them? Stay with me, don't go nowhere. Today, I want to start with textured books, particularly cloth books. Why textured books? Babies will begin to understand new words as you describe the textures they feel. Interacting with books makes reading fun and teaches babies to enjoy books. Touch and feel books support the development of eye-hand coordination as babies scratch or stroke textures and open flaps. Soft books start young kids off with storytelling, sensory, verbal, and pre-reading skills. A clock book is suitable from birth and helps to develop your baby's sensory skills with pages filled with different textures and interactive features and offers many benefits to support your baby's learning and development. Why textured books or cloth books? They stimulate the senses, they keep babies entertained, support early development, develop fine motor skills. Soft books are safe and they bond with babies. Before I move on to show you the list of books I have for you today, I want to show you my outfit. It is beginning to get warm and we need breathable clothes. The top I'm wearing today is a diagonal design striped one front pocket wood cuff. I'm matching it with long navy blue jeans. And the credit goes to Ola's Fashion Mansion. Their websites and details are displayed on the screen and also linked in the description description below and don't you forget that they have beautiful accessories as well beautiful ones like the ones i'm wearing today and many more don't forget to stop by at all as fashion mansion today so i have some textured books here for you and the first one i'm going to share with you is this big one this is a cloth book it is a cloth book and you know it is titled buzzing through your child can learn about the weather from this book your child gets to touch and feel the book they can even put their hands through this hole you know how children like like to play okay and they see different animals you can read the book to them they get to turn the pages themselves and because it is cloth you don't get to worry about them ripping up the book or like when they bite on it it's going to like they're gonna like bite some to their mouth and maybe swallow it now you know that you don't want to think about that and also we have this mirror right there they can look in there you can help them with their personal social skill help them to learn who they are help them to know their names help them to know what they actually look like you know so using textured books cuts through all stages of a child's development and they can learn a lot from me and also you can see that it's really really colorful uh, the other set of uh, textured books that I have, as you can already begin to hear the sound, they make sounds like this. And when your child is holding the book, you know, the, uh, the effect it has on them is really, really immense because this book cuts through and helps them, it encourages, it helps them navigate all the five senses, okay? Uh, the cost and effect is there because they know when they touch it. Like, can you hear that sound? That right there is in one of the pages, okay? They know that when they go to that book, they get to hear the sound, okay? And they also get to touch and feel the book like this, all right? At the same time, they learn colors from all these beautiful colors, you see? They learn the fruits, you know? These are things they need to learn. They need to know how to eat healthy. We see bananas. They can also learn their leg, ba, ba, 
banana. You can teach them sounds from this book. You can teach them the, the, the items that they could easily use. You know, they are learning words and they are also learning what they are used for. B -b banana. What do you do with a banana? We eat bananas. A banana is a fruit. Banana is healthy. You know, you can learn about the orange. What's the color of the banana? What's the color of the orange? Okay, you get to learn all of this in the few pages that you have in this book. And you get to relax. You get to wash this out. You don't have to worry about it getting dirty. You don't have to worry about it getting uh, soaked with their, uh, you know, when they put it in their mouths. You don't have to get worried about it being ripped. As you can see, there's no how this can be ripped out. And of course, the colors will not fade. Okay, I have another one that talks about veggies. Okay. And this has a shaker in the inside of it. You try to shake it like that. You know, it is an all-in-one book. You get to learn about the colors. Oh, what colors do you see? The most prominent color here is green. You know, we can talk, we can learn the color green here. We can learn about veggies here. You know, we need, you know, our children need a lot of help for them to be able to eat vegetables. So a book can also serve as one of the tools you use in helping them to learn to eat their vegetables. Like, let's say you have peas on their plates for lunch. You can say, oh, that's peas. The same you saw in the book we were reading the other time. You know, they can connect, they get to connect that. That's cognitive right there. They connect what is on their place with what they see in the book. Okay. And also, they get the sensory feeling from the book. Okay. Cause through their five senses, you can hear that sound right there. And they can see the colors. Okay. And uh, sometimes they put it in their mouth. All right, that's another sensory feeling for them right there. All right, and they get to feel it too. And children like all of those things. And when you give them what they like, when they are able to interact with things that they like, it reduces the behavior problems we see in the classrooms. It reduces the behavior problems in the home. You know, the child is calm when they are engaged. The, the child is calm. The child is learning when the child is calm. Okay, so these are the things we want to encourage and that is why when you use textured book for your infants or for your toddlers, they really enjoy it and they can do what they like with it. Look at yourself as an adult. So when you get to do things your way, you learn more, you feel comfortable, you feel relaxed. They want to feel that way too. We don't want them to feel some kind of way when it comes to reading. We want them to be comfortable. We want them to learn. We want them to know what they are doing. Because, you know, we don't want the screen to be the teacher to our children. No, at least not all the time. We don't want them to be at the screen 24 7. We want them to have other means of learning. We want them to be, you know, to learn the healthy way. And I tell you, research has shown that children that read develop small. You know, they learn more. They are more intelligent. They interact even better because they learn a lot of things. The intelligence comes from them just being calm and reading. And we want to introduce them to reading right from infancy. And so we, you know, introducing soft textured books are ways in which we can encourage them to learn. There are ways we can encourage them to know that it's good to read books, okay? This one in my hand is talking about numbers. You see, you can even teach numbers using textured books. Numbers, you teach the, the numbers, you teach the number letters, you teach the colors, you teach the weather, that's the cloud right there, you teach the sun right there. So you give them words, you know, this also making that squeaky sound. Okay, it makes that squeaky sound that children likes. All right, so uh, that's the I've just exhausted the list of my um, cloth books. Now I want to share with you board books. Why board books? Board books are good because they are made from cardboards and because they are so solid, and children can easily turn the pages like we have toddlers who want to turn the pages and it's okay for children to turn the pages when you read it to them okay so he encourages them to be able to to turn the pages and for them to say what they see on each page this one right here is a um this book right here is a picture book okay you rarely find words in it so if you think what your child needs is the picture books you can get a board book with pictures in them and you can ask them what it looks like right here what is that that's a tail a tail of what that's a tail do you have a tail no okay who has tails a lion has a tail animals have tails 
Can you mention the animals that have tails? Then they begin to tell you all those animals. Or maybe they're just learning their words to give them the words for this. What are you looking at? Roar. A lion roars. So they get to remember one of these uh, our words at each point in time you're looking at one picture you've given them the sound the picture makes you've given them the name of the picture you've all described the picture together in the classroom the eyes the nose the legs the body and all of that you have done all of that together in the classroom so there's no how this child will not remember at least one out of the many words you have given to one picture so the next time they see that picture in another book they remember you know, and they connect it. And that's how children learn. And because they are board books, it's easy for them to just turn the pages. So I have another board book right here. It's, it's Daddy Caterpillar. So this is another book where children can learn colors. They can learn words. You see, another uh, uh, prominent feature of the board book is the big letters. It helps children to learn um, letters numbers you know let's say uh this is a classroom where you are just teaching children maybe the first letter in their names maybe you have a letter for the week or a letter for the day as you read if you're reading board books the letter you just showed the child they can see it's right there in the book because the letters are big okay so it helps the child to easily grasp the use of letters and also they get to see uh, the pictures very bright colorful pictures and then also learning about the caterpillar is really good you can count how many legs you can count you can talk about the colors and the shape and all of that you can also talk about the leaves because caterpillars feed on leaves so so many things you can discuss so many things you can uh, teach children uh, using books now this is another board book you know, it's a little bulk here than the ones I've shown you. And here, you can really, children can really learn. Um, you know, we can even see, open the middle, we see pink, blue, red, orange, green, brown, black, yellow, and purple. Okay? Children learn colors, they learn the shapes, they learn about the animals, they, they learn about reptiles in this book. So that's the way we have so many animals. And then this book helps you narrow down a particular lesson for the week or for the day okay next week we want to learn about reptiles what book are we going to use i have a very good board book that will be interactive with children because they get to like turn the pages all by themselves okay so um i will go to the very next one this time around i'm not talking about board books but i'm going to show you another prince book that i know that uh, uh children will benefit from and uh this print book i want to show you is really big i can remember when i picked up this book we went on a field trip to the oxen hill farm and right there i saw this book on the bookshelf and i picked it up because i know it's a very very good book for my early childhood classroom you can see the boy eating a corn now tell me a child who reads this book and enjoys it the next time the mom offers that child a corn that child will remember this picture and they want to try a corn you know a cup of corn and eat it like that here you can see start right from the front page you can start teaching what is that corn i believe they will say and what is that called the color is yellow and then look at the different colors what other colors can you see you can talk about the color of the words you can talk about the color of the shirt you can talk about the background of of the picture you can talk about the colors of all these veggies up here okay and then you can see how some words are bigger than some words in the title what's in the garden so you can the child can concentrate on the garden or on what okay and that can help we can also teach you know prepositions even a kindergartner can read this book where you're talking about prepositions all those small letter words two letter words three letter words you can teach them here you can teach the question mark right there so many things that you can teach here okay and um the book is so informative that uh look 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 at the very first page can you see that delicious nutritious what could it be in spring there are blossoms all over the tree red green or yellow with fruits that is round if you don't pick it it plops to the ground can you hear the sounds coming out from 
just the first page of reading the book. And the child will see this is beautiful. You are representing the environment in your classroom by reading this book. So it's always good to read books to children. Right here, you can talk about the plants. You can talk about the tree branch, you can talk about the color of the leaves, you can talk about the flowers, you can talk about the bird, you can talk about what sound does the bird make. Bird make. You know, you can do all of that. And you can read to the child and you can encourage them to read to Look at this beautiful picture. What child would see this picture and not want to try out eating an apple? Okay, you can use this, to, let's say your lesson plan is about apples, you can use this book and say, a is for apple, a, a, apple. And what do we do with the apple? Just show them this picture and ask the question, what do we do with an apple? We eat the apple, okay? That's the response. And right here you have a recipe of how you make applesauce. This is a very good book. This is the recipe right here where you can make applesauce. So if you're a mom and you're looking for books to pick up for your child for the spring, See, there are so many recipes that each page comes with its own recipe, okay? It's a good way to teach your child how to plant, how to eat healthy, how to make food, and so many other things you can teach. So on this note, I'm going to wrap, wrap it up today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Share the video with someone who likes it, you think would, you know, you think... Share the video with someone who you think would like to watch. And until next time when I come your way again, you have a great, great one. Bye. Enjoy spring.